boy to the house saying, uh, Mom and Dad, I want you to meet my new boyfriend. And your mother and father say, well, uh, you know, we, we accept all. You accept all what? Right. That's right. That's another thing he said. He said, God accept us the way we are. If God accept you the way you are, why do God preach change? No, you can come to God the way you are. But uh, God won't accept the wrong that you bring him. You come to God as you are, dirty, filthy. But God don't accept your dirt. He brings the word of God to clean you up out of your dirt after you come to him. So you to try to smooth this stuff over. God will accept you the way you are. He ain't never told you that lie. If God would accept you the way you are, then why did he destroy Sodom and Gomorrah? Why not just accept them the way they are? Why did he shine the light from heaven above the brightness of the sun and change Brother Paul? Who was a murderer, an injurious, a persecutor, but he said, I obtained mercy. If God accepts him the way he is, why change him? Right. That's true. All right, listen to what I'm talking. If God accepts us the way we are, why institute the statement, be born again? The Bible said, if any man be in Christ, he is what? A new creature. New creature. Old things are passed away. So you come to God like you are, yes. But God don't accept the way you are. He won't tolerate it. He won't stand for it. That's where you fellas that made that mistake and made that quote which became nothing but a cheap religious cliche. God will accept you the way you are. No, God will accept his word. And then you gonna come the way you are, but that don't mean he gonna accept the way you are. You gonna come dirty, filthy, of the devil, but he ain't accepting that filth. He ain't accepting that dirt. Why? He's God. He ain't got to come down to your level. He set a standard that you gotta come up to. Amen. After he cussed me out, uh, he started. He said uh, he started talking about God. Uh, he, he's, he, he's my God just like he's yours. He's my heavenly father too. He said the difference is you're going to be in hell. And I'm not. <laughs> you know, and, and it made me smile. I listened to each message. It made me smile. You made me happy, Harris. I mean, you really did. You, you, I mean, I, I was up all night and I was tired and exhausted. But Harris, you really made my day. Good for you. Unless you change, you're still going to hell just the same. That's right. All right, come on, Moretti, let's have it. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness. The wrath. Yeah. I'd rather have people angry with me. That don't mean nothing to me. That's it. But God's anger, my God, it ain't nothing like it. Oh, no. Imagine God's wrath. The world now is experiencing some of God's wrath. Sending heavy rains and floods, washing away the house and cars that you admire so much. Sending fires. I was watching the news looking at this one family there in Hawaii. Imagine the whole island burning. He said they couldn't know where they could run, so they ran in the water. All they can do was run in the water, and some drowned. When they ran in the water. It's an island that's surrounded by water. It was nowhere else they can go. Wow. Imagine. That's just little areas of the earth. Glory to God. But one day. Yes. The Bible says the heavens. Being on fire. And uh, here you have the elements shall melt. With fervent heat. The earth also. And the works in the earth. Shall be burnt up. But they will come. It won't be a city there. And an island there. And a country there. The whole earth. The whole earth. 
You won't be able to step outside and see a beautiful sky. No clouds. No blue sky. No sun. The heavens, glory to God, will be rolling with flames. And the Bible says they shall seek death. And they shall not find it. The earth shall be in such turmoil. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God himself shall shake the earth worse than a man that's drunken with wine. Fire will wreck the planet. It's going to be so terrible, so horrible, so miserable. You're going to desire to die as a way to escape God's judgment. The Bible said they shall seek death and death shall flee from them. Now that means this. That means this. You can take a gun and blow your brains out. You can cut your heart out. You can get a razor and cut your intestines out because of the turmoil that God will bring on the earth, but you won't die. Mm. You can jump off the highest building in the world. When you hit the ground, you're going to get right back up. That's going to take God. He's going to flee away from you. Amen. He's done it like that because he's giving you a time now to get right with him. But you're so stubborn. You're so hard-headed. You're so rebellious. And you're so self-righteous. So a day will come where you will think death is your only escape. But God himself won't allow you to die. You're going to stand before him in judgment. You and your homosexual husband. You and your lesbian wife. Glory to God. That goes for you two preachers that perform these same sex marriages. This is not political. No. This is Bible. This is not Republican versus Democrats or Democrats versus Republican. This is God versus Satan. Are you listening? So you can ignore it now. Cuss me out now while you can. But blessed be the name of God. The thing that got me very motivated and got me steadfast. I mean, steadfast. I mean, if I come here and the homosexual community, the church is blazing, I won't be out there crying. You'll just make it possible for us to build quicker from the ground. When I say I don't fear nothing and nobody, I'm not playing. The only one I fear is God. So you don't, don't you get what I'm telling you? I was made a preacher. Oh, yeah. Amen. I know, I know many of you don't like that, but I was. I, I was made a preacher. I was made by the God of heaven and earth. And making me a preacher, he put this boldness in me that nobody can touch. You would like to bake this bold fire out, but the flames, glory to God, burns too high. Hey, you can't offer me nothing. From nobody that would get me to compromise or bargain with anyone under the sun. Amen. So whatever the Bible says, that's that. And if you don't like it, you can't change it. Yeah? You can't change it. That's one thing about it. You can't change it. Even if a man of God died, God has sent someone else and put that same boldness in him. And if God is never stuck, let's go to show you that even if Moses was here, Paul was here, or if the son of man himself was walking this earth, they would try to kill them and penalize them for standing for the same thing. That's why the homosexuals wrote their own Bible. To get rid of the uh, character. You know, so that way the Bible that they had don't speak against their wickedness. Like the Jehovah Witnesses took hell out the Bible. It's still in there. They just took it off the paper. And they ain't take it out of God's word. That's it. Because to take it out of God's word, you, you got to go up in the heavens. That's right. For the Bible said, uh, forever, O Lord, is thine word. Forever is settled in heaven. That's it. Amen. So you can do whatever you want. Write your Bibles and amen and justify it. Someone sent me another Bible from the homosexual community called the uh, 
lesbian Bible for men. Whoa. Oh yeah. They sent me a Bible called the Lesbian Bible for Men. Lesbian Bible. Can you imagine that? Yeah. You see, the devil always would try to justify himself with a form of religious backing. He get religion and tie it to his sins. That way, he convinced his own self that God Almighty stands behind and justify his conduct. Let me tell you hypocrites out there. That ain't none of you. you. You Listen, you can take all the books, the scriptures, the Bibles, the actual paper, and burn all of them if you like. You have never got rid of the word of God. That's it. No, you see, this is how ignorant you are. You think the word is just a letter. Uh, no. The word was here before it was in ink and paper. But the Bible says in the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. You see, God is the word. And God spoke before he had this thing written down. Amen. Before the prophets was uh, writing anything, you can hear them say, the word of the Lord came unto me saying. But as you can see, brothers and sisters, the reason why the truth of God is this international target because no other program is saying anything. That's true. They're not saying nothing. All the religions are practically going along to get along. That's why the center don't respect you churches. Even the centers, amen. One of the brothers called me from Augusta, Georgia, said he was sitting in the car and uh, listening to us and he had it blasting and they said before you know it, there was a bunch of Fellas in the nation of Islam who are selling the final call and bean pies. And I, I enjoy them bean pies too, brother. <laughs> Amen. And they, he said they ran, they ran to the car and said, uh, is that Gino Jennings? Okay. He said, yes, that's my pastor. They said, we love him. He's the only one that's uh, in the church that's saying anything. I received a call from my secretary, Sister Rollins. They're uh, updating me on the amount of calls that's flooding in for this week's meeting in Washington, D.C. An imam call from the Sunni Muslim community. They said, tell Pastor Jennings, we respect them down here and we're going to be there because we, we want to hear them. Wonderful. Amen. Amen. This thing here yeah. is from the Lord. And I know you don't like it. I mean, I know you don't like it. I know you can't stand it. But that's all right. Amen. God Almighty won't change. And I want to say to all of you in Washington, look, now you only got about seven days left to leave your church. You only got a few more days, you might as well pack right up now. You women might as well pack up, get out your poor pit and stop lying, saying you're a preacher. And you women that got the preacher who's your second husband, you might as well give him back to his wife or leave him alone altogether. And you uh, women that got more than one husband and you men that got more than one wife, you might as well come on. Come on back to Bible. Yeah. You that are in Washington, come on back to Bible. Yeah. Come on, ready. let's have it. In the book of Romans chapter 1 and at verse 18. Yes. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven. The wrath of God. The wrath. Yeah. The wrath. I hope I see all my in-laws down there in Washington. All of them. Yeah. A lot of them I haven't seen in quite some time. And I want to see uh, my niece. My niece by marriage. I want to see you there too. You know who you are. Amen. My sister-in-law showed me a picture of you standing, look like in the pulpit. In the, and, and, and amen. You and I got to talk, young girl. <laughs> amen. You and I got to talk. I remember her since she was born. I loved that little thing. She looked like my wife's double. And, uh, and I told my wife, I remember when we were young, I said, boy, I wish we could adopt her. She looked just like you. And, uh, but now God helped her heart. She'd been deceived by a liar and in the pulpit. So I hope you show up. Yes, this is your old Uncle Gene now. Hey Amen. I want to challenge the bishop of the church that you're in for having you in the pulpit sinning. Amen. And the reason why I'm hard like this because I want you and everybody to be Bible right. I'm not trying to make friends with nobody. When Noah was building the ark, Noah wasn't around trying to make you his friend. Judgment was coming. I'm telling the world the judgment of God is coming. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's coming. Imagine, imagine, imagine running to hills. And the hills is on fire. Imagine jumping in the water and the water is burning. 
Uh, imagine trying to get in your car and your car is in flames and you desire to die and death is totally ignoring you. God Almighty is setting you up. He's setting you up to stand before him and everything going to come back to your mind. How you accustomed, how you belittled him, how you lied on him, how you made mockery of him. How you men said that the Lord put you and that man together. God going to make you remember you said it. You going to remember. Amen. All you judges. Amen. That come along and say, well, same sex marriage. You know what's happening to America? What's happening to America is fulfilling the Bible. America is just a... Uh, uh, offspring of Sodom and Gomorrah. Yes. It's a disgrace. Whoever thought uh, that society will say that a boy is not a boy and a girl is not a girl. They are they or a we or, or something something else. A them, a they, a we, a other. You know they even got that on applications now? Man, woman, other. Other what? You don't find a dog trying to meow. No. You don't find a cat trying to bark. How is it the animals are not confused? No. Every animal act according to the way God made it. That's true. A roach don't think he's a termite. No. A spider don't think he's a scorpion. A monkey don't think he's a kangaroo. No. Amen. It's a disgrace. Amen. And this is why they want us off the air because they don't want to hear nobody speaking against this. Absolutely nobody. Well, God be my helper. I'm going to preach this. Yes, yes I am. Right. I'm going to preach this. And you bear this thing in mind, alphabet soup community. I'm willing to challenge the president himself. Think of that. Here's Pastor Jennings in Philadelphia and Biden live in Delaware, not that far from me. That's right. I am willing to take on Biden and his whole cabinet with the Bible. He say here, Christian, I declare to the world, I'm certainly striving to be Christ-like. That's right. So somebody's wrong. Right. 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 Hey, yes. Amen. Jesus ain't never come. I remember I was on a talk show years ago with a Baptist preacher and a lesbian woman and a homosexual man. And the man and the woman are supposed to be priests. <laughs> and the woman that was interviewing she was trying to pivot the Baptist preacher against me. He was a popular Baptist preacher here in Philadelphia. And uh, she wouldn't even look at me to interview, invite me to the show, but wouldn't, wouldn't even look at me. I was just sitting there, just looking. They're like I always do, just looking. She was scared to even look at my face. She kept looking at the Baptist preacher. She said, is it right to call them queers or faggots or things like that? Now, who would do such a thing? It's so disgusting. So the Baptist preacher caught on. He said, wait, 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 just a minute. You got me here, a Baptist man. And you got this man here. He called me apostolic, apostolic preacher. He said, so what you're saying, you trying to pivot me against Pastor Jennings. He said, now, many of our uh, theological things may differ. He said, but I'm with Pastor Jennings on this. God have not purpose for two men or two women to get married. And that just, that just rocked the program. So then the lesbian woman that had the backward collar on because her life is the same way backward. She tried to bring Bible about Jonathan and uh, I believe Saul. How they were so knitted together and they love was towards one another. 
as a man do a woman. That's right, David. That's right. So when she brought that scripture, I said, so what you saying? That they was gay? She said, no, they love each other like a man of a woman. I said, okay, I agree. But was they gay? She said, uh, I said, don't uh, me. You brought the scripture. Was they gay? I say, when the Bible said that the love was there like a man love a woman, that just simply meant they were one. That's all that was. And one would give their life for the other. That's all that was. One wasn't eyeing the other and were asking him to uh, go to Brokeback Mountain. Amen. They don't like we're so outspoken. They want us to be scared and timid, but not here. Brother, the Holy Ghost knew what he was doing when he made us a preacher. Wonderful, man. Yeah, hey, man, there's nothing timid about us at all. Come on, ready. let's have it. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven yes. against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men yes. who hold the truth in unrighteousness mm -hmm. because that which may be known of God that which is known of God is manifest in them. It's, it's displayed in them. It's shown. For God hath showed it unto them. God made it known to them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world yes. are clearly seen and what? being understood by the things that are made. Yes. Even his eternal power in God has, uh -huh. so that they are without excuse. What they, wait a minute. They are what? So that they are without excuse. Are you standing before God? You won't tell God you didn't know. Without no, excuse. no. Lord, I didn't know no better, Lord. Lord, I didn't know no better. Stop lying. Without excuse. You won't have no excuse at all. God made a woman a woman. God made a man a man. If you don't know what you are, here's a few easy lessons. <laughs> Find a floor mirror. <clears throat> Take off all your clothing and just say, behold. Because now the doctors are so wicked, they're trying to say your anatomy don't determine what you are. Mm. Can you imagine that? In other words, they're trying to challenge God's creation. Can you imagine how hell deserving you scientists and medical doctors are? Oh, when you stand before God, you're going to find yourself burning. That's true. Burning! That's, yeah. And an everlasting hell. You, you, you're going to remember this message. Oh, yeah. oh yes. Come on now, Maretti. Let's have it. So that they are without excuse. You don't have no excuse. Because that when they knew God. When you knew God. They glorified. You did not glorify him. Not as God. Hold it. Come on, Jay. Two men talking about getting married. You're not glorifying him as God or you're not recognizing him as God. That's right. That's right. That's it. Are you listening? Oh, yeah. Jesus plainly taught us, let a man leave father and mother and cleave to his wife. Cleave to him. Don't you know that's inordinate affection? That's unusual affection. When a man looking at a man up and down, he ain't got no curves. He may have bumps and humps, but he ain't got no curves. Huh? What you gonna feel looking at his old ashy gray knees? Knees like it backslid from three bottles of Jergens. <laughs> Any time you feel a drop of lust in you looking at a man, you of hell. Like yeah. the spirit of the devil in you. Yeah. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Yeah. I don't care who you are. It doesn't matter who you are. Your position, it doesn't matter at all. The Bible says you can't get sweet and bitter water from the same fountain. That's right. Huh? Amen. Come on, I'm ready. Let's have it. Because that when they knew God. What is it? When they knew God. When they knew God. They glorified him not they as God. They wouldn't recognize him as God, nor ne was they thankful. Neither were they thankful. Yeah, you're not but, thankful for the way you are. That's right. You're not thankful for the way you are, so look at what you do now. You're going to try to get your male parts cut off. Mm. Mm -mm. Let the doctors form a fake wound. Amen. That's what you do. Hey Amen. That, that, that ties in with the scripture inventors of evil things. Amen. Huh? Hey Amen. You go get a fake wound. Like in China now, they having pregnancy tests for men. Men who's willing to volunteer and trying to see can they get men pregnant. Can you imagine that? But what they're doing? Trying to play God. Mark, in other words, you got cargo, but the ship that you got is not made to carry that cargo. That's right. That's right. You see, man put forth. The woman bring forth. 
Are you getting what I'm telling you? Oh, yes. The man put forth and the woman bring forth. Amen. When my wife got pregnant, she brought forth. Yeah. Seven times. That's right. Amen. I put forth so she could bring forth. Amen. I ain't bring I ain't walk around here pregnant. No. Oh no. Imagine me trying to make a webcast seven months. You know, because when a woman get pregnant, she gain weight. You know? Imagine me up. <laughs> Imagine me up here. I done gained all this weight. We bear witness. There's one God. Praise the Lord, everybody. Can you imagine that? No! <laughs> oh, no. Tell you men want to get fake breasts, fake hips, lips blown up like you a jellyfish. You want to look like a woman so bad. Can't have no cycle. So there is no cleansing process of your body. They got all homosexual churches. Synagogues. And mosques. You got homosexual mosques. You got homosexual synagogues. You got homosexual churches. Homosexual clubs. Homosexual cops. Yeah. Homosexual firemen, homosexual politicians, homosexual congressmen, yes. homosexual judges. Yes. 